Hello lovely people, another very very nice day. Today is very very cold. What are we going to be doing today? Today we will be testing this subwoofer. So if you watch my previous video, I just recently installed a kind of first system. It's a two-way up front with wide bands, DSP and five channel amplifier and I put this subwoofer. So this is an Alpine HDZ 110. It was sent to me by Frank from Hepa King like probably last year or more than a year ago and I just had it but I didn't really do anything with it because I had loads of subwoofers in my previous car. So today we will be testing it and what we'll be testing is the frequency response in different locations locations of the boot. Now obviously your mileage may vary depending on what car you have what kind of enclosure you have but I think this is gonna give you a rough guide where would be the optimal location for a subwoofer and just because I need to find that location in this car as well I did a similar test in the insignia a while ago however that one was slightly flawed because I had driver on one side port on the other side and as well I had an infinite baffle subwoofer there which was acting as a passive radiator a tiny bit I did short out the voice coils but it still affects stuff. But this car is totally stock. There's nothing inside. And I think these results are gonna be much better. A little bit about the signal chain. The signal goes from the laptop via Bluetooth into the DSP and then directly into this subwoofer. Now in the DSP, you won't be able to see because everything is totally dark. You cannot see anything. There go, the high pass. The low pass is bypassed, the high pass is bypassed, EQ is bypassed, this is on the subwoofer channel. Now just to demonstrate you one measurement how I'm going to do this, let me shut the boot just like that. I will be doing sweeps, not RTA. The microphone is going to be in the listening, oh my god you cannot see anything through the glare. The microphone is going to be in the listening position. Now when you're measuring subwoofers up to like 100-200 hertz, it doesn't matter if it's a stationary microphone or you're doing the moving microphone method. So for simplicity I'm just going to leave it in the same place all the time and I'm going to be doing sweeps, not RTA. So we're going to go measure, I'm going to measure from 0 to 1000 hertz, about 10 seconds sweep. Let's do one sweep and see what we we get there we go all done and this is the measurement and we have in this particular case response from about 23 Hertz and it just goes down now the crossover in the amplified has a, a infrasonic at 10 Hertz and it goes all the way up to 400 Hertz which would be somewhere here so all of this is not the amplifier not the DSP but the actual cabin so what we're gonna measure is different locations as I mentioned now a little bit about this box this is a slightly oversized you can see ported enclosure for this driver this is i think i don't remember it's a two and a half or three cubic feet it's way oversized way too big for what it is for what needs to be but for testing purposes it's fine it's super efficient it's tuned very low as well below 30 hertz and what we have is we have a driver and the port in close proximity to each other so we can assume that it's one unit emanating the sound i have the ability to shut the port to plug it off and i'm going to do that as well so i'll do the set of measurements measurements with a ported enclosure and then I'm going to do exactly the same with sealed so it's going to be an oversized sealed enclosure it's going to act almost kind of IB so I picked five locations for the subwoofer one is in the very center where it is like that and then we're going to flip it so we're going to flip it up and then we're going to flip it to the front and then I'm going to put the box on this side and again I'm going to flip it up I'm going to flip it back and then I'm going to move the box to this side and flip it up and flip it back now I think it's kind of pointless to have this subwoofer like here right at this one because you can see the driver is right in the middle anyway so it's not going to change anything I think the biggest difference that we're going to see is one of the subwoofer is going to be aimed towards that side on this edge and towards that side into that edge and as I mentioned it's going to be both sealed and ported I know there's going to be a comment so I'm going to show straight away how I make a sealed box out of the ported one the port is quite long it's going all the way there so I have a very plush stuffed toy that's going into the port up till there to the very end then this towel is wrapped up and it is tight so you cannot really squash it anymore it's going all the length there and I'm gonna screw this on top 
just to have some extra coverage and basically this is going to act as a sealed enclosure so let me do the swapping pushing pulling and twisting and then the laptop is going to do a lot of sweeps and we're going to jump into the software and see what we have so after all i decided to do only three different locations which is on the driver's side on the passenger side and right behind the seats because all the other measurements they don't really differ that much so we're going to have a look at ported first and then we're going to have a look at sealed so these are the responses of all the locations possible and you can see the difference is not that really big everything falls off below 20 so this box is tuned at about 25 hertz which is here so uh, obviously after the tuning frequency it falls off and then the biggest difference we see above 60 hertz which is this the biggest discrepancy everywhere else the difference is 93 97 4 db 3 4 db difference between any of those positions are you gonna hear the difference i really doubt it but if we're looking at the objective measurements anyway let's have a look the one that stands out is this one the teal line which is here because for some reason it has much less output in this area and this is the measurement when the box is behind the seats and aimed up and you can see if you compare to all the other measurements even like in this area above 60 hertz it has the lowest level so i kind of determined that this behind the seats facing up is the worst location and worst position for a subwoofer so let's just remove it for a bit now the other one that stands out is like this one that has really really big you see these cancellations right there two of them so this is the measurement of again behind the seats aimed towards the cabin so it's basically the driver is firing into the seats it might be different if i would have a ski hatch but my car doesn't and to drive with seats folded down is very impractical so yeah you would say it's above 60 hertz it doesn't really matter but if you want a good integration of subwoofer into the mid base your subwoofer should be able to play kind of with no issues at least up to like 80 or 100 hertz so when we have such big dips at what 63 and 74 it's not the best if you want a quality integration into the mid base so let's remove that one now the other one that stands out is this one because it has the lowest level the purple one and this is again behind the seats and facing backwards this is the location that literally everybody has their subwoofers in just chuck them behind the seats push them as far as you can next to the seat and have it there so you can see it still has dips at 52 and 66 and if you choose any other location you can see all the other ones everywhere the level here is going to be higher so this is again one of the worst locations so basically all the locations behind the seats doesn't matter where it's aimed are the worst compared to possible alternatives now from all that's left we have driver side and passenger side all three aimings what stands out to us to me personally stands out this light teal color it has a lot of level it plays all the way up to 120 here it has a bit of a peak here and you see even at this range between 26 and 35 it has the highest level so which one is this this is on the passenger side aimed outside of the car so this is uh, would be exactly the same if you would have a driver molded into like fiberglass mold into that cavity into the side and yeah passenger side will give you the best possible outcome kinda you can see that for example at 90 hertz here this orange line is a bit higher again this we're looking at the crossover region most because here we don't see a big of a difference the placement will help us better integrate the subwoofer into the mid base not necessarily gain more output at the lower end because you can see from all of these you're gaining maybe two decibels here maybe three decibels here and literally nothing at 25 and lower 
and literally nothing here from 36 all the way probably up to 45 or something there's not noticeable difference as i mentioned the biggest difference is going to be your integration into the mid base so this orange which one is it again this is on the passenger side when the driver is aimed inside into the car and let's have a look up yeah when you aim the driver up because the driver itself is very high it has a kind of cancellation here at 94 it is high in the frequency but yeah so comparing if you're comparing the driver being on the driver side and on the passenger side on the passenger side we have a bit more level in this crossover region so this is when it's aimed in the car this is when it's aimed up and again on passenger side you will have more level in the crossover region and if you're aiming it out of the car again same on passenger side you will have more level here so in conclusion objectively looking at the measurements if you have a ported enclosure and you have it right behind the your rear seats is the worst possible location the worst possible is if you would aim it up and the best location would be really any orientation on the passenger side corner whichever you will choose there there are slight differences from these i would probably choose the one that's aimed into the car because it has the most level at this like 90 95 90 hertz region and again this is very very important to correctly blend your subwoofer with the mid base drivers and when the difference is like five six decibels yeah i think this location is the best however aiming it out of the car will give you a little bit more level here in the very very 30 hertz the very lowest region so either of those but aiming up mm, not really do not aim your subwoofers up and put it on the passenger side now let's have a look very quickly at the sealed enclosure for sealed i have a very weird thing this is the driver side this is when you put the subwoofer in the driver side this is looking inside of the car this is looking up and this is looking outside of the car and all of these three responses they're very very different i have no idea why i have these cancellations below 30 hertz they are you can see similar dips in the ported enclosure so this is the same location same orientation sealed versus ported and we have this dip in both responses again exactly the same sealed versus ported kind of in the same location so it is in the ported as well but in sealed it's much more pronounced so from these i don't know they're all bad to be honest if you have it on the driver's side probably looking inside of the car is the best because this cancellation here is the smallest and you have the most level here so from these this one would be the best response on the passenger side if we have a look looking in looking up and looking out of the car yeah it's really a mess for some reason like these again they appear here here and here now you would say that maybe it's the port resonating at that frequency however this frequency is not the same the port is tuned at 25 24 25 which is here and between these measurements this dip changes frequency that means this is influenced by the cabin and not by the driver or the box and if we have a box on the passenger side it's really hard to choose which one is best because all of them are quite bad to be honest let's remove this up because the up has the lowest level and most and on the passenger side aimed in and aimed out of the car i want to say if you aim out of the car you have more level here here and here however we have this cancellation for some reason but if you're aiming inside of the car you don't have this cancellation in the crossover region but you have this dip i don't know it's very difficult to say but let's have a look finally at behind the seats sealed behind the seats looking back looking front into the seats and looking up so yeah when you have a sealed box looking up behind the seats is the worst possible thing for some reason you have two massive massive cancellations are these harmonic frequencies let's have a look 28 times 2 should be 56 it's 51 it's very weird i don't know why i have this because the port is shut for sure this is not the port let's remove this if you aim it back to the boot 
you have a bit less of a scoop out but if you aim towards the seats is yeah like behind the seats aimed towards the seats is the same see ported and sealed you have these massive thingies which is the worst thing possible but aimed back and ported aimed back yeah they're kind of the same the main difference with ported obviously you have much more level here so with sealed it's very difficult to say which one is the best because all of them have massive massive issues let me just enable these let's remove the behind the seats you can see all of them have issues here between 26 and 30 but again probably i would choose on the passenger side either aimed out and live with this cancellation or on the passenger side aimed inside of the car and having maybe a little bit more level but the nicest response so i think we have the same conclusions. Either you have a ported or sealed enclosure. The conclusion is that best location for your driver is going to be on the passenger side in the very corner of the boot. It doesn't really matter where you aim it, but if you're going to put a subwoofer in that mold into the side, that would be the best. And this is very, very good news for me because I am planning installing the infinite baffle subwoofer exactly in that location. So even even if it's not going to play like above 50 so this region is not going to matter that much but i know that all of this region is going to be with the least possible problems now i know that there's a lot of graphs and it might be a little bit confusing so what i'm going to do i'm going to upload this rew file into my google drive and i'm going to leave a link in the video description so if you want you can download and just look it for yourself and the main takeaway from this is all of these responses are going to be vehicle dependent driver dependent and box dependent so again your mileage may vary but if we're looking at the trends i think we can spot the trends that passenger side in the very corner is going to be the best location for your subwoofer so that's it for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one